This is how Russians do fire and fury. The Russian army has been attacked and it's hitting back, targeting what it calls illegal armed groups. But it's only an exercise, codename Zapad, which means West. The armies of Russia and Belarus in joint manoeuvres close to NATO's border. NATO claims Moscow hasn't played war games on this scale for 35 years. Russia says the West is overreacting. The commander-in-chief came to watch. Vladimir Putin keen to project an image of strength inside Russia and beyond. Moscow claims this exercise is all about defence, not attack, and certainly not a prelude to an invasion of Europe. But with Russia and NATO locked into what feels like a new Cold War, there is considerable suspicion in the West of Moscow's intentions. When the exercises began last week, a NATO surveillance plane kept watch from the skies over the Baltic. Moscow says the manoeuvres are not preparation for war with NATO, but not everyone's convinced. Any exercise is a, is attempt to prepare your troops to conduct the war. And in this particular case, if you conduct uh, such kind of exercises at the West, of course you are preparing uh, for the war against NATO, no doubt. The exercise, we were told, went according to plan. What isn't clear, though, is what is Russia's plan for how it's going to deal with NATO and the West. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Leningrad region, Russia.